YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, it is Tuesday, and you know what that means. Time to go over the weekly reset for the week of May 21st. We have precisely two more weeks before Season of Opulence. Hopefully we'll have a trailer or some new information any day now. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I will keep you up to date. If you want to know how to prepare or some tips on how to prepare for Season of Opulence, click the link annotated on screen and also linked in the description. This week will be the final step of the exotic quest for the exotic ship that goes along with Outbreak Prime. This week it's going to be the solar configuration. So if I have any more information about it, check my Twitter feed or also I'll upload a video right after I complete this video when we have it figured out. Also at the end of the video I will be giving away two, count them two, Astro A40TR headset pros and also the Mixamp pros. These are the new ones. These are the redesigned ones. I did a full video review on them which I will link and put in the pinned comment. These these are the ones with the upgraded speakers inside the headset, upgraded microphone, upgraded mix amp. I will give away two at the end of the video. I am sponsored by Astro. If you need anything from Astro, there's a link in the description. It helps me out and you get yourself a little bit of a discount. And those who win, you could choose either the Xbox version, the PC version, or the PS4 version. All right, so stick around to the end of the video. Let's get into the weekly reset. The flashpoint this week is going to be over on the Tangled Shore, so simply complete some public events, complete some lost sectors and also your heroic adventure you will go see the uh, spider and you will get powerful gear however you might want to hold on to it in my preparation guide I was speculating that flashpoints might carry over well this was last week's flashpoint from Nessus and I did not pick up the reward I actually forgot to well looks like it will carry over so I'm gonna leave all my flashpoints on this character and all my other characters for the next two weeks and pick these up probably the first week of Season of Opulence to hopefully get a bump in power. Remember in my preparation guide, which will be annotated and linked on, sc on screen right now, I speculated that, yeah, I believe flashpoints do carry over if you do not pick up the reward. And I do not think these are set in stone. These are not bounties. These are not things in your inventory that you will hold on to. See here, I'm holding on to bounties, but that's not for uh, that I think any of these will give me powerful gear that's just gonna give me 700 um, I know that these will own like anything here that will give you powerful gear are set in stone these are capped at 700 but I believe flashpoints should be able to get you up over 700 if you let it sit there all right enough of my babbling about that let's get into the nightfall strikes the nightfalls this week we've got the arms dealer we've got Savathun song and we have will of a thousands when it comes to the nightfall strike exclusive loot for the Will of a Thousands, you have a transmat effect. For Savathun's Song, you've got a really good auto rifle called the Duty Bound. It does have a static roll because it is from year one, so you can grind it out and uh, hopefully get it. It's a pretty good auto rifle. Uh, for the Arms Dealer, you have an exclusive uh, exotic sparrow called the Tilt Fuse. So if you're looking for a good auto rifle, I would grind that out. Now, when it comes to getting a 100k score, I go over this every week, but we're going to do it again. Here's how I set up my Nightfall score uh, challenge card. Now, I don't care about the handicap. I set it to zero. I'm not going for high scores. I simply want 100k, so I do my Nightfall run, and I get two powerful drops. I put whatever burn I want on, and then I put on these modifiers. Extinguish, you will go back to orbit if you all die. I use match game, and I also use blackout. If you, um, if you choose to use match game, uh, make sure each one of you in the fire team is using a different element. Void, arc, solar, etc. And I usually use the Destiny 2 companion app real late at night to uh, find people to play with, and uh, it's a great source to uh, find people to play Nightfall Strikes with. Let's take a look at the burns this week uh, in terms of your Vanguard strikes uh, you complete one strike you get powerful gear three strikes you get powerful gear and for the daily heroic story missions you do three of them you'll get powerful gear we have good old arc singe all right so these will be your daily modifiers right here today we have blackout and we have grenadier you will throw lots of grenades and do more damage with them but uh, make sure you bring out those arc weapons when doing these activities right here. If you were looking for any of the Ikelos weapons over from Escalation Protocol over on Mars, this week the boss is dropping all three of the weapons, the Sniper, Shotgun, and the SMG. All you need to do is kill the boss. You do not need to open up the chest. Just kill the boss, farm them over and over and over, and then pray that you get one of the weapons you like. I in particular, of course, I love the Ikelos Shotgun, and I love the SMG because I like like the 750s. I finally got the Recluse last week and I'm liking it, but I don't really get along with the 900s, especially when it comes to console. I mean, 900 rounds per minute. 
I like the 750s because I feel like the recoil is uh, just more manageable on a uh, console. Let's go have a look at the Gambit playlist. Great sources of powerful gear if you're trying to get your power level up. But let's see what the Singe is for the Reckoning. Okay, this week we have Arc, and these are your two dailies. Today we have Brawler and we have Blackout. So you just complete a whole bunch of rounds of the Reckoning, you'll get powerful gear. Gambit Prime, complete four matches, you'll get powerful gear. And the usual with old school Gambit, complete one match, powerful gear, three matches, powerful gear. But make sure you go see the Drifter, he will have a uh, old school Gambit weekly bounty to complete, that will give you powerful gear. In the Crucible, as always, in everything you play, if you complete five matches, you will get some powerful gear. And this week, we have Showdown, all out team warfare, revive a defeated teammate to steal back the point your opponents have scored. So just go in here and complete five matches, you will get some powerful drops. Make sure when you are out and about, you are collecting bounties. And you can see here, I've got 19 completed, and this is from last week. Yeah, if you complete a whole bunch of bounties from the week prior, but uh, don't turn in all 20, it will carry over to the next week. So I'm probably gonna just do one bounty, cash it in, get my powerful drop, because you saw on this character, I've got a slew of bounties. I'm gonna stock them all for the first week of Season of Opulence. Same thing with uh, Soraya Hawthorne. Once you complete 5,000 XP, you will get some powerful gear, but if you can, try to hold on to your um, your clan bounties, as I explained in my uh, Season of Opulence prep guide. Um, these will give you about 2,000, yeah, they give you 2,000 clan XP. So if you can, try to save some of these. Uh, this right here is a wanted bounty, which you will get from uh, the spider over on the Tangled Shore. That will give you some powerful gear. However, that will be locked in at 700 power, so no point in saving those for a Season of Opulence. If you're going to do it, just complete it and cash it in and get that 700 power drop if you're at 700 power. Checking in with Petra Ven, she's located over on the east side of the Dreaming City. If you want to look on your map, just uh, put a marker on her and then you can sparrow your way here. It is the first week of the curse, so she's got her usual. Broken Courier is a story mission, you will get powerful gear. War for the Dreaming City, complete eight of these daily bounties and you will get powerful gear. Prior to Season of Opulence, you want to have seven of these completed and then when you log in, when Season of Opulence hits, grab one bounty, then grab War for the Dreaming City, uh, complete that one daily bounty and then uh, you'll have this completed, turn that in, and you will get a powerful drop above 700. Uh, we've got the Ascendant Challenge, and we have the Gateway Between Worlds. You simply do the Blind Well over and over, present the offering to the Oracle, and you will get some drops. All right, for the Ascendant Challenge, this one's a fun week. This one's gonna be located over in this area over here, and I will link a full video in the description on how to complete it. It's a really fun week. It's located in the Gardens of Isila, I think that's how you say it, where um, you go into the Ascendant Challenge, and there will be three of four, I think it's three, different uh, arc charges or sparks that you will grab and bring to the middle area while being chased by Thrall and Taken and these huge knights. Uh, hey, Pope Bear, um, the goal is you need to kill knights. So what you're going to do is uh, put on a subclass that does a lot of DPS. Now, when you're doing that, you're gonna deposit these sparks in the middle, uh, there's like a big well that's right in the middle of the Ascendant uh, Realm. You um, deposit them all, once it's fully charged, every time you run through that little uh, well, you will get your super back in like two seconds. From there, you need to use that, use your super energy to kill all the knights. And it's really simple, if you're on a hunter, go blade barrage. If you're on a titan, go with hammers and on a warlock, uh, I would use Dawnblade for that. Really fun week, I will link a video in the description. As usual, 801 has all of the weapon frames that you can forge, and I'm gonna be forging this week because I still don't have Jotun, and I do not have the Monarch. And also, just a pro tip, when Season of Opulence hits, you could store two Ballistic Logs. Well, actually, yeah, you could have two, well, no, you could store multiple Ballistic Logs on your character. However, on each character, you can forge two powerful frames each week. So if you want to get some Ballistic log, uh, ballistic Logs and have at least two in each character, just complete these weekly bounties right here. One, you just need to complete a bunch of Forge Ignitions, and the other, you need to complete these bounties over here. If you need any mods, you want to uh, go right here and add, uh, if you have some mod components and also some black army schematics. This is where you can get your Rampage spec, you can get uh, Icarus Grip, you can get Dragonfly spec, and some other really, really cool mods. Checking in with the Drifter, and as usual, he's got a weekly reward for me because I chose to not be a snitch, and oh, he gave me a Bygones. So I hope it's a good roll. All right, for old school Gambit, here's that, um, here is that weekly bounty you want to grab. And you know what? You might want to grab this and have it like 80, 90% completed. 
and then complete it after Season 7 to get a powerful drop right away. And as usual, these are all your bounties if you want to upgrade your Synthesizer and get a Collector Head. Again, these might be things you might want to do is have them almost completed, like do all four encounters in a Reckoning and get enough, like 80 or 90 percent in terms of points, and then turn that in after Season of Opulence to get that powerful drop higher than 700 power. And you've got your regular bounties here if you want to get some synths. Lastly, let's go check in with Eververse and see what she has for sale, and then I'll talk about the Astro giveaway. Alright, so let's see what she has to buy for real silver. Alright, she's got Hello Pope Bear. Sorry, man, I'm recording my weekly reset video. Uh, we've got Memory of the Plague. Uh, I chose to go for the other one, this one right here, which she should still have for sale if you have not bought it. Patient Zero. I think it looks really, really cool. Alright, so uh, she's got that for sale for how, ma uh, how much silver? Alright, for f uh, 700 silver. Uh, we've got the Primetime Bundle. Let's see, that's five of those uh, Notorious Engrams. And then we've got here the Ether Supply Bundle. You get this shell right here, the Totem Shell, Guiding Light. That will give you bonus XP in everything you do and then have two random perks. You get some shaders, you get two of these Notorious Engrams. Then we've got the War Shark Bundle where you get this, I'm going to say... Well, Dragon's Breath ornament, uh, yeah, whatever happened to Dragon's Breath? I'm surprised they didn't bring that back. Actually, I never liked that weapon. All right, you've got that looking sparrow, which, I, uh, actually, you know what? Let's look at the uh, perks in it. Well, we've got Custom Drive, we've got a random mod, and you've got Destabilizers on it. I don't know. Do you guys think that looks cool? I think that looks kind of ugly. All right, moving along here. Let's see what else we have for Bright Dust. We've got the Chair Pop. Uh, I'm mainly going to go over anything that I think is cool or exotic. Now, I've got the one where you pull up a chair and you pull up a uh, tasty beverage, so I'm going to buy you. What else we've got? We've got some sparrows. We've got some ships. We've got the Curse of Osiris ship right here. I got this one a long time ago. If you're into that look, that Curse of Osiris look, grab it. We've got a uh, class item. We've got uh, two ornaments here. We've got one for the Chaperone, and we've got one for the Risk Runner. And let's look on the other page here. We've got our usual stuff. Uh, these are for the Black Hammer. No, Black Hammer. One like, whoa, end of the video. I can't talk. For the Whisper of the Worm, Whisper of the Nerf. And uh, also, these Eververse bounties that you complete, they also count towards your Ikora Ray bounties. Alright guys, that's it for the weekly reset video. Let's talk about this giveaway. Okay, here's what I need you to do guys. Uh, leave me a like on the video and make sure you're a subscriber. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section saying, uh, leave me one thing you're looking forward to in Season of Opulence or you're hoping that we get in Season of Opulence. Uh, from there, leave me your Twitter handle and make sure you follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. So simple, leave me a comment. Follow me on Twitter, leave a like on the video, and then in that comment, leave me something that you're looking forward to or hoping for in Season of Opulence, and then all, here, hold on, let me pull up a chair with them, but make sure you put your Twitter handle in the description, so this way I can do, um, direct message you as long as you're following me, and I'm giving away two of those new Astro A40s uh, with the mix amp, the TRs, the Pro versions, which are amazing. I absolutely love them. Check out my review. I will link it in the description. All right, guys, that's it. So uh, leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and that's it do me a favor drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean check out my stream usually always on YouTube and that's it I am out of here like Vladimir mm -hmm.